Carl, thank you. Let's get more on this story now. Breaking story. Joining me now is Mark Block, Chief of Staff for the Herman Cain campaign. Mr. Block, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. First, you're charging the Perry campaign with stirring this up. Absolutely. And quite frankly, this is one of the actions in America that is the reason people don't get involved in politics. All right? The actions of the Perry campaign are despicable. Rick Perry and his campaign owe Herman Cain and his family an apology. Both the Rick Perry campaign and political did the wrong thing by reporting something that wasn't true from anonymous sources and it's, like I said they owe Herman Cain and his family an apology. What evidence do you have of this? In 2003 Herman Cain ran for the Senate. He hired a general consultant Kurt Anderson. Mr. Cain divulged the NRA claims at that time to his general consultant. National Restaurant Association. Exactly. Mr. Anderson, so the campaign at that point would be prepared if the issue surfaced. It did not. Approximately two weeks ago, as you know, Mr. Anderson went to work for the Rick Perry campaign. What else happened about two weeks ago? Politico began this smear campaign citing anonymous sources claiming Mr. Cain acted in inappropriately. Now let me say that uh, Kurt Anderson has given Politico a uh, quote saying he didn't know about this uh, before the story ran. He has great respect for Herman Cain and his character. I would never speak ill of him on the record or off the record. That's true today and it's not going to change. You say that's a lie. It's an outrage and as I said before Rick Perry needs to apologize to Herman Cain and quite frankly to America. There's a, another veteran pollster with the used to be with the National Restaurant Association, Chris Wilson. Uh, he is now working with a super PAC that supports the Texas governor's bid. Uh, he is on the record de detailing what he says is another incident of sexual harassment, another allegation. Again, the Perry campaign needs to apologize to Herman Cain and his family and America for this despicable actions and quite frankly political too. Political won't release any documentation or will they even admit that they spoke to these two women. Why? Because they have nothing incited unnamed sources. Now Chris Wilson has put out a quote saying to be clear and you can ask any of the reporters covering this story I had nothing to do with leaking this in any way I've never discussed or shared this story with any of my clients now listen you have a prepared statement here and I know yes. you're 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 kind of reading off of it but are you 100 percent sure that there's nothing else to these allegations that this is piling on and this is from directly the Perry campaign I asked Mr. Kane directly on numerous occasions were there anything to any of these allegations and he looked me square in the eye and said no All right, Mr. Kane has never committed any sexual harassment period end of story you said at the National Journal event earlier this week that same statement yes then you said as the hours go by it's interesting that we even hear from a radio talk show host of Iowa that a receptionist thought Mr. Kane's comments were inappropriate I, and now that talk show host is apparently on the record talking about it. I would challenge anybody that has these statements to be made to come forward with the person making the statements face Mr. Kane for a campaign that knew about this story for 10 days and then a candidate who said he didn't know about the settlements, the specifics early in the day on Monday and then kind of clarified that through the day. Uh, now you're saying that you remember the specifics of briefing a staffer back in 2003. Did this develop over the past day? Actually, over since Monday as this story began to break, okay? We knew about the political story seven, ten days ago. If I spent all my time chasing these anonymous allegations, I'd be spending 24 hours a day, seven days a week, which is exactly what the other campaigns w w wish we would do. So do you Brett, think Brett, seriously, one of the problems that this city has is we are running an unconventional campaign with an unconventional candidate. They're not used to this. And I think one of the things that they're doing is attacking Mr. Cain. As Chief of Staff, do you take responsibility for how this was handled in the response to this story? Absolutely. The buck stops here. And it was, in your opinion, not handled well? I think we could have handled it better. 
we could have got out in front of the story a little bit faster and we could have had a better explanations but again you can't spend all of your time just like from this point forward what do we do somebody comes out with an anonymous unnamed accusation and we spend all day long doing that we can't do that so we, do you call on the restaurant association to waive this uh, waiver or whatever the deal is with this settlement uh, so that these women who apparently want to talk about it can that's totally up to the national restaurant association brett last thing another thing that's getting a lot of attention this monday interview in which uh, the candidate, Mr. Cain, was talking about China and said this about nuclear capability. You look at the soundbite. What he, was it? What was he, he was, meaning? He there? was referring to the nuclear capability that China was getting for their for their um, the submarines and their aircraft carriers. Not that they didn't have nuclear exactly. capability. What goes? What happens from here? Well, hopefully, this becomes. Um, not the story of the hour, the story of the day, and we can get on campaigning, getting Mr. Kane's vision for America across to the voters. And if the, you know, I, I've been asked, Brett, did this have a, a detrimental effect on our campaign? I think if you take a look at the poll numbers that have come out in the last 24 hours, we've either maintained or increased. His intensity factor has gone up, and we had our best fundraising day uh, yesterday that we've ever had in the campaign. So it obviously is not hurting us with our supporters. Mr. Block, thanks for the time. Thanks for having me.